what is going on guys captain car here welcome back to the channel as you can see we are uh we are not in alabama today nor are we in this video we've got captain eli right there with me today joined up with captain Bo with the fishing public and uh we made a little trip to mexico as y'all just seen that was my first plane ride first time out of the country to be exact and uh what you got Oh, you know, we just find some coconuts. Look at all this grass, y'all. This grass is ridiculous. It's like they're loading up truckloads of grass, or actually sargasm is, is I think, the name of it. But we are out here. We just got to the resort here. Just trying to get some sun, drinking a few cold ones. Uh, unfortunately, the wind is cranking. Like always, I mean, what's new, right? What's new? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try and go out tomorrow. We're gonna go with uh, Captain Roberto. If you watch Jig Pro Fishing, they went with uh, Captain Roberto before on their channel, uh, catching Queen Snapper, a uh, couple grouper and stuff. But that's gonna be the goal today. I think it's crazy how literally a couple miles off the beach, it's like 1,000, 1,200 foot of water and we had to go 60, 70 miles to get in that deep of water. But uh, we're gonna have a good time regardless. Hopefully get some good footage for y'all. And uh, if y'all do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We will see you back out of the water in the morning. <laughs> get you some fish. Yeah, the fish. <laughs> good morning, y'all. Welcome back. We are out here for the second trip, second day. Went out yesterday, it was extremely rough. Did not catch, but one big eye, I think. It's a big eye, ain't it? It's a big eye. We got lines everywhere. And uh, it just was not a great day, so probably won't add that into this footage, but it's a new day. We're going out with a new captain, new boat, hopefully try some new waters. And uh, it looks pretty out there this morning. There's a bigger boat heading out right now. But yeah, y'all stay tuned. Hopefully we can get on some fish. Hopefully Eli can get us one. <laughs> All right, y'all, so unfortunately, the uh, conditions were not that great, not as good as we hoped they were gonna be, and uh, I just simply could not wear my external mic, so I apologize for the, the wind noise. It was pretty bad, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of voiceover, just something different. I usually don't do this on my channel, but the uh, like I said, the wind was really bad. Audio wasn't all that great. But anyways, we, uh, we headed out about 20 miles that's where the captain said the queen snapper were, which is what we were targeting on this trip. And uh, we got out there, and as you can see right here, the tuna, blackfin tuna, we're hitting our jigs on the way down. We were using 300, 400 gram jigs. Started out at about 900 foot of water. As y'all can see, we simply just couldn't even get to the bottom the uh, first couple hours of fishing because the blackfin tuna were just slamming the jigs at about three, 400 feet. I couldn't catch one. I don't know why, I don't know if it was my jig or, or what, but as you can see, Captain Bo and uh, Eli were, were wrecking the tuna pretty good. And he hit it doing that. Oh, thankfully we were using electric reels, all three of us. I think he was using a Seaborg 300J and I was using a Tanacom 500 right here. Bo got a hook up towards the bottom and we were hoping it was gonna be a queen snapper started getting it up it was turning red we all got excited and uh <laughs> we got it up ended up being a dang big eye this is our second big eye of the trip right here beautiful fish great eating but just not what we were looking for big one though oh well that's right different kind of red and as you'll probably know, and I know I've said this on the channel multiple times, the uh, GoPros and cameras just doesn't accurately show how bad and nasty this water was that we were fishing in. We had a steady 20 mile, 25 mile an hour wind probably. And uh, as you can see, every time the bow hit the water, I was getting splashed with water, which is why I could not wear my external mic because it is not waterproof. Just had to go off the GoPro audio. So it was getting towards the end of the day here. We had about an hour left of fishing and uh, we're getting ready to try one more spot. 
So we started reeling up real quick. Bo got slammed about 100 foot off the bottom. And we're sitting here thinking it's just another tuna. Our hopes were not very high or positive that this was the right fish, but I'll let the clip play and let y'all see how it went. It's red. It is a queen. <laughs> I didn't want to mess the Come fish up. <laughs> yes! Beautiful queen snapper. Tell them what you were doing uh, whenever you caught this fish. <laughs> well, we were bringing them in. Yeah. I kicked it into high gear, but I believe it had a big loop in it from the tide, so it wasn't moving that fast, and by the time it caught up, he hit it. About 150 foot off the bottom, and we're in almost 900 foot of water. Man, this is such a good very fish. good eating, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's that restaurant we had That's last like night. one of the best uh, eating fish. The restaurant yeah. we had last night, we're going to be cooking him there tonight. Oh, yeah? That yeah. one's not going on the wall? <laughs> there we go, y'all. We finally got one. I didn't catch a single fish, but you know. <laughs> So after seven hours of jigging, we have discovered that these fish were hanging off the bottom anywhere from 150 to 200 feet from the bottom. Now this is in a thousand foot of water. So one, we had to find them and two, we wasn't working the jigs the right way. They wanted it real fast. We were basically putting the reel in high gear, just reeling it up and uh, giving it some yanks every now and then. I still couldn't get a bite. I, I, I don't know, it just wasn't my day. Bo gets hooked up and I'm just sitting here like, what is going on? Hey, I've got to put a glow on. <laughs> this is bull crap. He thinks it's glow, he thinks it's the glow. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. <laughs> crap. Hey, you wanna, you wanna let me bite at me? Yeah, come on no, up. no. Come on up and get your glow on. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I got some glow in there to work the fire. Queen. Yes! Yes! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I do have a fish. Yeah. It was on there. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We got him. Yeah. We got a triple baby. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> dad, That's baby. it. I'm trying to get my other camera going. Oh, oh man, it's a good one. Yeah. Look at that monster. I bet that's who I had. Cut his line. Yes. Free him up. Yep. Cut the mono. Now you get the mono out. Let's go. Man, that's a good one. And so right here, we had a, a tangle. You know, we got three lines in the water, rough conditions. Uh, the current was pretty bad. So I lost my fish. Really disappointing, but I knew I still had one more day. Regardless of whether or not I did catch a queen snapper or not this day, I was still ecstatic that uh, we did finally find the targeted species. Yeah! Yeah! Good one! Oh! So now that the trip was made, it was time to make our rough journey 
20 mile ride back to the launch and uh, wasn't that bad right here. We were fishing on the southern tip of Cozumel about two or three miles off the coast. We had to cross the, I think it's the Caribbean Sea to get back to the launch. When I tell you it was rough, this, this was probably the top five worst seas I've ever been in. This panga took it like a champ. Now we wasn't going fast and it's not the driest ride. You'll see here in a second, every single time the bow hit, I we would just get sprayed with gallons of water. Thankfully the bilge pumps were working. I'm not gonna lie, this was some pretty sketchy stuff, uh, especially since I wasn't sure what this boat was capable of. But as we started running, I soon figured out that this boat was uh, capable of running this stuff. Granted, we was not running faster than eight or nine miles an hour. We couldn't get on a plane just because uh, these seas were just so close. So it did make for a long trip back to the launch. I believe it probably took us about an hour and a half or so, but we did make it back safely. And uh, I'll let some of the clips roll through here. What you think, Cap? What you think about it? Ceviche two ways. Traditional, the lime, and then we have a soy version. Asian ceviche. This is the queen snapper we caught today. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Either Round side. two is up. <laughs> what we got here, Cap? It looks got like some, we got some, uh, fish some tacos. Queen snapper tacos. With some guacamole heat on top. <laughs> is that the sauce? That I think sauce that's right the there? sauce right there. Y'all, this stuff <laughs> is no joke. We're going to see. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Flaky. Mm. Mm. All right, y'all. So here we go. Nice little queen snapper taco. It's like a little fish nugget on there. This is a catch, cook, deckhand, clean, and eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, very hot. Hot? <laughs> very good. Very good. Different. It's got a different taste. I don't know whether that's the best thing. Day three out here, back out here. I'm trying to get revenge since uh, Eli was the only one that could catch a queen snap for him and Bo yesterday. But back out here with Captain Roberto, we got uh, got some Jig Pro jigs, got some Johnny jigs. Y'all know I got rainbow unicorn on right there. We're sitting in about close to a thousand foot of water right now. Conditions is a lot better than yesterday. Y'all stay tuned. Hopefully, we can get us a fish. So you think we should hit bottom and work it fast up? Yeah, hit the bottom aggressive, aggressive, you know. Aggressive five, for, uh, like a 10 meters, mm -hmm. then you stop. Okay. You stop for a while, then aggressive, keep looking for him. Okay, Tiger. okay. What do we got? Floating He's up. floating up. That's a red queen. Oh, yeah. Queen, baby. Look at him shaking his head like a bass. <laughs> You got a gap or anything? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nice. Clean. Second drop. <laughs> the clean slayer, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Nice. <laughs> you hold it by Give the Give us a slap. Right That's a nice one, man. Yeah. Oh, you hit it. This went. Look, he's on there. Yeah. I don't think that's a queen. I don't have you, do I? We got something. Yeah, yeah, it's a tuna. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I I am fine with any kind of fish. That might be my breakfast this morning. <laughs> you got it? No, no, no. Sure. No, no. It's this. It's this one. It's the tuna. Ah, uh, he's swimming all over the place down there. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> a thousand foot of water. <laughs> Here. Oh yeah. Gracias. We'll get this hook out. Make another drop. You hit it going down. What did you hit it at? Two eighty. Two ninety. Yeah, probably. He's not shaking like a tuna. He's yeah, it's like big head shakes. Yeah. Come on, baby, stay on the hook. <laughs> all right y'all so we just moved to a different spot 920 30 foot of water dropping this uh jig pro 440 gram jig down didn't even make it to the bottom and i got slammed and it's really feeling like the right fish just trying to take it real slow got the drag decently light so i only got two assist hooks <laughs> Be quiet! He ain't up yet! This is in the water. Hey, this is, this is you got gaff? No, we don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the last guy you want, said. You want to gaff it That's and put it in the water. This is grabbing. In all the videos, you can see all the jig videos, you can grab so it. Yeah, sure, I don't worry about the gaff. What if he comes off and swims away, though? Uh, I've got an engine, though. <laughs> <laughs> you put the engine, put the boat right next to it, you'll stick it. <laughs> Catch him again, huh? Yeah. Come on. Oh, I'm losing power. What? Oh, oh reel, 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 reel. I, got, I got tension. I keep in tension. I lost power. This wasn't screwed in. Oh, it keeps losing power. Again? Yeah. Reel, 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 reel. Keep the line tight. Can you make sure okay. that connection's good? Okay. Uh. Okay. Hit the power. All right. Uh, okay. Nope. Uh-uh. No? Uh-uh. I'm going to have to reel him in. You shut off the, like you say, the, Look, like, the screen. It shows. Here. Oh. Trying to keep hey. tension on his fish, y'all. We lost. And he shot off again. Yeah. Real, 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 real. As fast as you can. Remember, do that very low gear. See what's there? Oh, yeah. Last I seen, I was about 300 foot. It would, it would show up, but then when I would go to real. There we go. Oh, Dr. Eli, coming to save the day. Come on. Did it have some salt in it or something? No. Did it have salt in it or something? No. He's shaking his head. He is not liking coming up. How far you are? 100. 90. Yeah. Feet. Yeah. Feet. Feet. No, this, this should be feet. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. First fish is coming up, 40 meters. I see color. It's a queen! queen. 
Oh, yeah. Did you hear good? Yeah. Yeah, get the deer, get the deer. Go over the deer. Woo! Ah! Yeah, get the deer, bro! Hold it. <laughs> yes! Y'all. Oh, yeah. It has been Hold an absolute struggle trying to get this one fish. Hold it right there. I'm going to. Good need size <laughs> queen, too. On that 440 glow, full glow. That's going to Look be how nice gorgeous picture. this fish is, y'all. Big old eyeball. <clears throat> mouth that looks like a bass or 900 foot of water right now just just absolute stunning fish right here my day is made now we can go <laughs> red big queen big queen oh he snagged oh <laughs> nice yeah and the tail. That ain't a queen, that's a big Toro. Big eye. Uh. As you have seen in the video, I've been having a tough time, but finally got second bite of the day here, actually third, first one with a black pin. But this was on the Jig Pro. Is it the deeper? It's the deepest 400. Deepest 400, straight and low. He hit it pretty close to the bottom. We're hoping we can get this fish up and it's the right one. Alright, so we got 90 meters left. Felt like he got sharp there for a minute, but I think it's just a, a good sized fish. Hopefully it's the queen. We've got probably 100 foot left. We should start seeing color here shortly. Come on, please, do the right fish. There he is. Top of the fish. It was, yeah, a, come. it was a big one. That was a good queen right there. Dang. That was a big one. I just can't win today. <laughs> I'm just glad I got the jig back. <laughs> you want me to cut that? It's better than nothing, right? <laughs> well, that's just part of it, y'all. Leave. 500 miles from Dolphin Island, Alabama, try and get on something else other than a shark, and they follow us here. But we still got about half an hour left. Hopefully, get try and get one more. Dropping the jig down, made it about 200, 300 foot. Looks like a black fin hit it, going down. You got hit? <laughs> Double up! Uh, I see that rod tip. <laughs> Yay! A little football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Queen! Yeah! Queen! Oh, big one! Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. You run it fast. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. You freaking Queen Whisperer. Yeah. Hey guys, we've made it back in. Four nice queens. Would have been five, but I got short. Eli came in clutch, catching them for us. Appreciate it, Captain Robert. Berto. Got a black fin. A couple black fins in there. I'm pretty sure this is a big eye, a little big eye. Well, I'm sorry. Did we got you catch him too, Eli? Not, oh yeah, you know he did. <laughs> and, and, and two of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he was, the same as I did yesterday. He was on fire. <laughs> What'd you say it was? Uh, Ceviche? So, Ceviche Tropical. Tropical ceviche. Yeah. Maracuya. See how that tastes. That the blackfin tuna we caught. And up next, we yeah, got some this wasabi. wasabi. I love wasabi. It's like butter. I eat it like butter. So you would put that in your mouth right there and yeah. just eat it, no problem? That's right. I might have to get that on video. <laughs> <laughs>